Hi, in this video we'll learn how to read a value from a variable and how to uh, write a value back to a variable in script task. So we are going to learn how to actually manage the variables or work with variables in script task. In our last video we talked about or we introduced the concept of script task and script component in SSIS. Um, you know, we generally talked about the layout of, you know, for example, the programming language that we used is C sharp, you know, what is the layout that you have to go through when you have to work with these two tasks. So in this video, we'll focus more on actually, you know, how to actually, you know, get start with, you know, working with variables to start with. So this is a simple video. It's but the goal here is to show, simply show you how to get started with the variables. Um, you know, we know we know variables allow us to you know dynamically manage packages. Um, so it, a lot of times it's very necessary that you have to work with these variables uh, to either read the value from a variable or write the value back to a variable. So in this case, we'll we we'll achieve both of those in the script task. So to do that, I'm going to create a simple, uh, you know, in this step, like I'm going to create it, there will be a simple task here. The goal is to actually, there will be three variables. We have to read value from two variables and sum those values and assign that value back to the third variable. So in this case, all the three variables will be integer data type. So you can actually sum them and add them to the third variable so that you can write, you know, you can understand how this case, this can be done. Um, you know by learning how to read and write using the simple experiment. So let's create the three variables So in this case, we are going to call variable 1 and uh, variable 2 and Variable 3 so these are all going to be uh, integers. So in this case, we're going to be let's say whatever we want to go with Let's say 50 something just a simple, you know something sim something to simple to get, get started with So once we created the variables, let's go to the script task uh, the control flow and the data flow pane and here we're going to drag and drop the control uh, the script task from the SSS toolbox into the control flow pane once you drag and drop just double click the script task uh, the first thing you will see the is the on all the, uh, obviously we have to select the programming language which in this case C sharp and the entry point will be main and uh, we have to choose uh, you know the variables that we want to read and or variables that we want to write so basically what script task does is it locks these variables for read and write so that no other component can actually manage these variables during the execution of this task. So locking is an important mechanism to keep things consistent. So in this case, we are going to uh, select the eclipse button in this here, this eclipse button and select the variables that we want to read. So in this case, we want to read the variable one and two. And in this case, we wanted to write the variable value three. So we're going to sum the variable one and two and assign that value back to the three. So we'll click the edit script. The edit script, once you click the edit script, the, the layout of this uh, task will be very similar to what we saw earlier. There is nothing changed. Although we selected something here compared to the, in the first video, it's gonna be still the same. So if you see this lot of uh, code that they generate by default, if you, if you, you know try to read these you know it's like a self documentation about how you actually can work with the variables so in this case the example of reading a, a variable is right here you know that's it so dts so basically i'm just going to copy this one okay and uh, I, as we discussed before everything we do is in the main method you know we don't do anything else in the script task um, you know, at least for this example is everything is in the main method so as i copied that from the example above to read a value so what what the what we are trying to do is here we are selecting dts uh, dot variables uh, collection the variables collection has all the variables and in this case we are going to be working with a, a user variable so it's going to be user and the variable name here is var1 okay uh, so this is how you you know get the value of, of, of variable one now let's get this value and uh, and add the value to this uh, variable two okay and then assign this to a variable three by using equality you know sign so in this case we're going to terminate the statement and you can still see there is uh, something error or something wrong with the script because the output of DTS variables collection and with the variable selected dot value, the output here 
uh, is a is a type of object so we need to uh, explicitly convert this into an integer okay although we know it is integer so we're going to do the same thing for the, the the second variable here now once you explicitly convert them into integer now the uh, it is gone now for this demo demo purpose we are going to uh, have a, a message box or a pop-up box that shows us the value of three of the variable three in this case sorry. so in this case it will be the uh, var three we know the message box dot show can only show a string variable so we have to explicitly convert this into a string okay and uh, a semicolon to terminate the statement so this is how you you know read and write a value in a in a script task okay so let's save the script task and let's click ok let's click ok here and uh, once we run this it should show the value of you know the variable 3 which is what we just updated by adding the variable 1 and variable 2 and we assign that value back to the variable 3 and that's what we are showing in the message box so this is how you can simply read and write variables in script task